Welcome back everyone and of course today if we're going to be doing a series on how to make money during the holidays or how to make money with credit cards in general we had to add this method in. This is a method that gets talked about all the time which is why I put it on the latter part of this series but I felt like it was important enough that we still needed to talk about it and make it known for those who are new to the game and are not aware of this method and this is the authorized user trade line sales method okay so when you use this method of obtaining authorized users in order to make money basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be finding people who need extra trade lines on their credit report that are positive for whatever reason. Maybe they're trying to purchase a home, a car. Maybe they're trying to get approved for credit cards or a loan or whatever it may be. But you find these people and essentially what you're going to do is you're going to go to that person and you're going to say, hey, I have um, a credit card. It has this limit. It has this amount of history. It's through this bank. Um, maybe you want to establish a relationship with this bank. Maybe you want to report a certain limit on your credit report. Maybe you want to report a certain age on your credit report. Whatever it is that that person is looking for, you have to find their selling point. So it's usually best to talk to them a little bit to find out what they need and just be that subject matter expert and say, hey, if you're trying to purchase a house, you're going to want a longer trade line with, you know, as low utilization as possible. Um, you know, if you want high limit cards, maybe you want a high limit card reporting to your report um, with as much history as possible. But basically, you want to find whatever niche it is that they're going to be looking for and sell on that niche. And then basically, you're going to price the card according to what value is going to provide to that person. Now, I recommend that you talk to that person, kind of find out their financial um, background and see if you all can come to an agreement or a price point that will work for the both of you where it'll be beneficial to you as well as to them. However, Many people out there in the business have already created certain price points and they stick with their price points regardless. If you choose to do that, you can go and look at some of those different companies, see what they're charging people and choose to follow um, suit with what they are charging and potentially make money off of selling your credit data. That's all you would basically be doing is selling the data off of your report to that person and it will put it on their report um, when you get the cards you would have the cards sent to your address therefore there is no legal risk to you because the card will come to you you can cut the card up you can actually um, for most banks put authorized user cards at a zero limit or at a low limit like 50 or 100 dollars which would prevent them from actually being able to use the card or being able to extensively use the card to the whole limit even if they were able to get access to the account information most banks do not allow authorized users to call in and order their own cards check with your bank and make sure that they don't for your own safety and security and remember that an authorized user is different from co-signing an authorized user you would be authorizing them to be put onto your account and you could remove them at any given time there is nothing legally binding you to keep that person as an au whereas on the other hand a co-signer is someone who is just as legally responsible for the loan so if you co-sign for someone rather than allowing them to be an authorized user you are now guaranteeing the loan yourself and if that person chooses to default it will reflect on your credit as well as theirs and you will be just as legally responsible and bound to that loan 
So with that being said, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next one.